um, jump on and uh, show you what I am doing with my um, amaryllis bulb. I know that I had taken a picture before uh, and it is now um, the flowers are long past their beautiful stage, although they're sort of a little pretty now, I think. But uh, what I'm going to do is show you what I do to get my bulb to um, bloom again. Now, you'll see that my um, amaryllis bulb is starting to get the leaves, which is great because that is definitely what um, we want in order for it to replenish and restore the bulb so that next season, next Christmas, I will have um, this beautiful uh, four bloom stalk uh, come back. So it's not that hard. It's actually, you know, there, I mean, you know, for to get the flowers, all you have to do is make sure it's in a place where there is light and um, keep it uh, with the water. I have the type, and I'll show you, it's dirty, I know, but uh, they're just stones. I don't use dirt, and it's a neat little um, container to hold it. I think I got it at Sam's Club, to be honest with you. It was not that much, and it's a great, because here's where the water is, and then um, the bulb sits nicely in there. So I'm just gonna pull it out, and you'll see the root system. And I'm gonna put it just on here, and then I'm gonna put it back in. So what you want in order for it to restore is to get these leaves. This is the good growth right there. That is what's going to restore it. And it does need sunlight. So you're gonna to need to put it in a sunny place. I don't have um, a really great window for sun, but once it is um, warm enough and there's no danger of frost, I will take it outside and let it get lots of sun over the summer, uh, which is you know great. When you first take it outside, these leaves right here, usually, They'll, you know, they'll get that sun bleach and then it might wither and die back, but it's okay. They'll come back and then it'll be fine. It just has to transition to being outside from being inside your house. So what I'm going to do today is I need to remove the stalk. So you'll see there's two sections here. This one is the leaves that I want to grow and I don't want to harm that at all. This is the, the flower stalk and this is what it needs to be removed because I want all of the energy to go now to the leaves so it can begin to restore the bulb rather than continue to uh, provide nutrients and energy and water and all of that to the stalk. So I am just going to take this and I am going to cut it with a knife. And I'm going to be careful when I get to the middle because I don't want to cut the leaves. There we go. So as you can see, here it is. Yep, and it's going to start dripping and that's okay. And you're actually going to have it um, sort of bubble up a little bit from the inside. You can sort of see. Let's see if I can get you to see in there. And that's okay. If you start seeing, see that liquid? Let's see if I can get it to fill it. Oh, it's dripping on my hand, there we go. So, see that dripping? It's going, that's going to happen, and that is okay. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about that. You didn't cut too far. You see how I did not cut where the leaves are? I'm gonna let that those leaves just grow and blossom. I'm gonna put it back in the container right now. Set it right in. All I do is set it in and then I sort of move it around a little bit because I don't want the um, roots to be smushed up. And that is it. Now once a month I will fertilize it and um, now I you can buy liquid fertilizer and you just put a little bit of drops or the time release fertilizer so that it's down in the water. You have to make sure that you keep water there. You need to make sure it has sunlight. Um, so I'm gonna be moving it off my table here because there's not a whole lot of sunlight. 
Um, and then what I do once a month is when I change the fish filter, I just use the gunk and all the, the um, fish poop that's been caught in there and I just sort of let that drain out and then I use that as my water so that's my liquid fertilizer. So um, this is uh, all it takes. Now when August comes, usually mid-August is about when you want to do um, your dormant period so that you can um, get it to bloom again in Christmas and uh, I will show you in August when I start to take that. If you you need to have a cooler basement um, or a cooler place that you can put it so if you can't um, get the timing right uh, you might need to wait till September and then have it bloom in January but that's up to you and what you have available to you. So I'm just going to let these leaves grow and they're going to get tall and, and a little floppy and that's alright. It's not real pretty now. The, the bloom is what's real pretty. But uh, next year I'll have another stock and it'll be um, beautiful once again. So this is the process. I hope you learned something. If you have a bulb at home, give it a try and let me know um, how it works for you. Have a great snow day. If you are um, out and about, be safe out there and I will talk to you later.